2008 against Terry Linko, the world champ, second round. Uh, I was 17 years old, he was world number five. Uh, that was kind of my announcement, my, or my arrival to the PSC World Tour. Uh, I won the World Juniors two months before it. Um, and I think uh, all the top professional players always follow who win the World Juniors, you know, because whoever win the World Juniors is always going to be the next danger or the next person coming up. And then uh, that was my first ever world champ to play. And, uh, and I went through qualies. Um, and uh, I did go into the main draw to play the first round against Ryan Levine, who was top 20. I think I was world number 65. I beat him 3-2. And then I played Linku, who was world number five, and uh, I had so much belief in beating him. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I had always so much belief in beating everyone I went on court with, but, but I did have belief. I felt like my game could suit playing him. I was two love up and uh, had match point in the third game, which I lost. And then uh, fourth game was 12-10, I lost it. And the fifth game, I won it 14-12. And that match kind of was the announcement of my arrival definitely to the tour. I made the quarters, I beat Hisham the day after. So I beat three top 20, two top 20 players and one top five player. And I was only 17, made the quarter of my first world champ. And it's a memory of I will never forget because um, it kind of gave me the confidence I can play all the top guys from at such a young age, definitely. The world champ final against my brother. Um, big, big moment for both of us. Um, I remember uh, I had my semi-final against Greg, which I won. And then uh, he played, I think, three, four hours. His, his semi-final got... I was against Ali, Ali three, four hours later, and I was watching from my room. Officers cheering for him, and then the moment he won his last point, uh, I was celebrating. And then a few seconds later, I fell on the bed, kind of uh, fell on the bed. I, I started having, uh, I started um, realizing, uh, in order for me to win the world champ, I need to stop my brother from winning it, uh, and it really got into me. Um, and um, I tried. Um, in that World Champ in particular, I was in my zone. Uh, I was really in the zone to win it. And um, I was really not talking to anyone. I was really with myself all the time. I was only talking to Palmer only, to David. I was working with David at the time. And we're, I was only talking to him during the tournament. And, uh, and uh, I stayed away from everything just to stay focused in the event. And uh, the next morning, the morning of the final, actually, I went to get some food. And on the way back, I saw my brother in the reception by luck. And that was actually the first time probably I seen him during the whole event because we played in different days, but it was in the bottom half, so we didn't see each other at all during the event. And, uh, and we saw each other, we smiled, and we gave each other a hug, and um, it got into me emotionally. But uh, David kept reminding me about the job I had to do in the final, and it was so tough, because uh, that's the only match I went into five, five games in the whole event, and uh, I was ready for every match in this event, but I've never thought in my had I was going to meet my brother in the final. Uh, I didn't think he was ready that year to make even the final. He, he was so far in seeded. And yeah, it, uh, you, you can never forget the, the, the match. You, you can never forget the, the match you won the world champ with. But imagine playing your brother in that final too. <laughs> uh, Shabana US Open final, uh, 2014. Um, I became one number one for the first time. Uh, in that semi-final, I beat Greg. And uh, for me to be world number one, I would have needed to beat Nick in the final, unless Shabana beat, unless Shabana beat Nick in the semis after I beat Greg, which what, that's what happened. Shabana did beat Nick in the semis. So um, that night I couldn't sleep. That was my first night to sleep knowing I'm officially world number one. Uh, I was only 22 years old, uh, the fourth youngest to ever do it. Um, it was, I, I think I've slept only three, four hours that night. Um, but at the same time, I had a final to play, a platinum final to play. And I did not want to lose in my first ever final at the world number one. I did not want to lose it. Not just that, I had to play also my idol, who was Amr Shabana in the final. That was the only final we played against each other. And for everyone who knows Shabana, Shabana was extremely difficult to play in finals, especially when it, when it mattered most, when it was world champs, British or, or, uh, or, or platinum, any of the finals, you know. I know he didn't win the British, but in, in generally in finals, Shabana was so hard to play. He had crazy stats when it came to finals. So uh, I, was, I think I lost the first game very, very easy. Uh, I couldn't focus. I couldn't really do what I needed to do. There was so much going into my mind. And then I was 6-1 down in the second game. And then he lost his focus just for a few seconds. And that's all I needed to come back into the match and win the match. I won the second and then from there I was hard to stop. Uh, but I will never forget, first of all, uh, 
my first match at the one number. That was my first ever match at the one number one. It was the final of the US Open. It was against my idol. Um, he was the person I wanted to break his record at the one number one because he got there at two, he, he put the record for the Egyptian at 33 months. And I wanted one day to break that record. And that was, and I was about to start my first month as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was an unbelievable moment. My mom was there, she witnessed it as well. You know, it was an unbelievable moment for us. It was an unbelievable week, you know, to be dragged and then take him out of the hole number one to beat Shabana the next day. It was an unbelievable match I will never forget. Uh, the match against Nick Matthew in the semi-final of the World Series Finals in Virginia. I think that was 2013. I can't remember exactly. I think that match for me was so important because um, uh, that was not the first time I beat Nick. I think it was the second time I beat him. But the reason of why that match was so important for me because I feel that this match was the start of our rivalry. Um, I beat him 3-2 and um, at two, when we were 2 all, he uh, started chatting to me and I chatted to him back. And normally with Nick, whenever he chatted with any of his opponents, you wouldn't want to chat to him back because he's so good at, it, at keeping his focus because he's mentally so strong. And it, I think it was around 3 all or 4 all where I chatted to him back when he chatted to me and I stood up to him. Three. Well, this is, uh, Five, three. this is a bit wonky. Why would that be a no Stewart. let? Play first ball. Stewart. It was a stroke. Four more times. And I went from 4-0 to an 11-4 or 11-5. And uh, I got into his head instead of him getting into my head. And it was funny, you know, when that happened in the fifth game because uh, it gave me so much confidence in myself that if I can do that, I, if I can do that at the best at at it, then I can do it to anyone, you know. And uh, I kind of took took, took that uh, after this match. I took it after, and uh, I was so hard to break mentally. I think after this match, of course, I was broken mentally. I'm a human. At the end, we all have a breaking point. I was broken mentally many times in my career before, um, but um, but uh, definitely this match uh, it was it, it started something special between both of us. I would say this one was Greg, uh, the TUC where he beat me three two. Uh, that match was uh, very important for my career. Um, uh, I was two love down. Um, I was starting my way back into this match. I won a very tough third game, 11-9, and that's when I felt I was starting to get into him physically. Uh, I was not having a very good season. 16-17 season was a very tough season for me mentally. I had a lot of personal issues, of course, family, lots of family issues, of course, I would say. Uh, and I didn't play that season very well. I was overweight, <laughs> I was not training, I didn't want to be on court at all. Uh, that's the only time in my career probably I lost motivation. And, um, and then in December, I started mid-season, I started getting my motivation a bit back again. And then at TUC, I was ready. In the fourth game, that's when he, his glute or something in his leg was hurting him or he showed that it was hurting him. And, and then he was not walking properly in the fourth game. And uh, at the end of the fourth game, he fell on the floor and took an injury, he, took, he fell on the floor after I won the game. And then I went to Greg and I told him, Greg, if, uh, if you're injured, please stop because we do need you for the tour. Uh, and that was a mistake from me because I got emotions into it. I got emotions into it and that was a big, big mistake for me. He went off, got the treatment and during the point he would play completely fine. Between points he would not walk very well. And um, I didn't mind what he did at all, actually. Uh, for me, Every time you go on court, the way I see it, every time you go on court, you go with weapons. You have to have many weapons. And you have to have, as an opponent, the weapons ready for any weapon your opponent uses against you so you defend yourself, you know. And he took one weapon out, out of his pocket, that I didn't have an answer to. And that was the biggest mistake for me. I only blamed myself after this match. Um, and after I lost this match, uh, it hit me and I didn't play well at the, till the end of that season. I lost the next week in Detroit first round to Caesar. Uh, I lost to my brother in Laguna in 18, 19 minutes and it was because of that match. Sal in the World Series Finals when he beat me. Uh, um, it was a big moment for me uh, to have um, someone who is 20 years old to beat me. Um, Someone who I think is going to dominate the sport one day. Uh, whether people like the stuff he does or not, I don't care about that, to be honest at all. For me, I see the way he is as a squash player. 
Uh, all the stuff he does for me, he's going to improve, he's going to learn one day. You know, he's only a kid right now, he's only 20 years old. And I went into that final, um, I was one love up, I won the first game 14-12. A lot of players losing to me, 14, a tough first game, 14-12, they wouldn't even stand a chance against me after. He stood up to me and beat me 3-1 after, and he didn't care that he lost the first game the way he did, and I, I respect this. You know, because I was once at his age doing the same things, and I, I understand that and I respect that talent. And for me, the, way the, the, the reason why this is one of my most important matches I've been part of is because, uh, is because uh, I, was, I was, as much as I was upset that I lost a big final, but in a way, I'm a, I'm, I'm a squash fan as much as a squash competitor, you know, and I was kind of proud to see someone at his age doing the stuff he does, you know, and win a big title like this, because when is the last time we had a 20 years old who was as good as him? It was me. And then before me, it was Rami. And then before Rami, it was Janshu and Jahangir. That's it. Like, we were the only four, like Rami, myself, obviously Jahangir and Janshu, we are the only four players under 20 years old that made it inside the top 10. And he's the fifth, actually. So you're gonna get someone like him every 10, 20 years, basically. So as I said, he, he has a lot to improve with his movement, with the stuff he does. Of course, he has a lot to improve. And we all can agree about this, but in terms of the potential I see in him, this guy is gonna dominate the sport. And, to, and one day when I retire, you know, I'm gonna remember this match, you know, when he wins multiple world champs and be world number one for so many months. And I do, hope, I do hope he breaks all the records I've had, you know. As I said, Jamana had 33 months, you know. I had that record and in front of me and I wanted to break it. Now I'm on 50 months. He had that number to break at some point and I do hope, to break, I, I do hope for his sake that he will break it at some point because um, as a squash fan, I want to see the sport getting better and I want to see the players improving all the time. And one day I'm going to sit in my seat watching the sport and I want to see these guys take the sport to another level and he will be the leader of that at some point. Uh, Elguna final against Rami when I lost. Um, I think that match, there was a lot of things happening behind the scene. Um, I think I was so proud of how I did in this event. Um, I came into this event, uh, I came into this event as, um, it was my first ever time to go to Egypt as the world number one. And uh, I go to this event, uh, I go to arrive to Ilguna, not one poster being put of me in the whole event. Uh, it was all posters of Rami. Yeah, he was a big star, of course, in Egypt. So no matter what I did, I went to every other country. You know, you see poster of the world number one. You know, I'm the world number one. You know, I'm the best player in the world at the time. You know, <laughs> and then when you go to your country, you know, you would hope that you're, in a way, you know, you're. They give you a bit of something that a, a bit of what the other countries do for you. You know, you go to England. You, I went to Hong Kong. I went to Malaysia. I went. I can go on and on and on and on and you respect the world number one, you know, and then I go there and then I find poster everywhere of Rami, everywhere in my room and, uh, and then I, I remember I called my mother and I was like, I need to get out of here. In this season, it was my first season of the world number one. I made all the finals of the platinum. Uh, I made the final of the world champ. I made all the big finals, you know, and I was only 22. And the Elguna at the end of the season, so you can imagine I'm arriving at the end of the season exhausted mentally, you know, completely exhausted. And Rami was out, so he was fairly fresh coming back, you know, into the tournament. And, um, but we were on opposite sides. Uh, but I, if someone was going to stop Rami really in this event, I was the closest. Uh, Rami on his day, he was the best player in the world on his day, but he just didn't have the consistency to do it because of his body, not because he couldn't do it. He definitely could do it, but his body just didn't let him. And, uh, and the reason of why this is one of the most important matches of my career is how many people would have been able to be on court against Rami, to go through everything that they went through during this event, and to be two love down, and to come back against Rami, two all, and 10 six match point up, to be one point away from beating the most talented player who ever been on court, you know? Uh, I love this match 12-10 in the fifth. I went off court and I told my parents the first thing, um, I'm blessed. That's the first thing that came out of my mouth. I feel blessed that I was able to do what I did today. Because um, uh, I have so much faith in my life in general. Uh, I'm not the most religious guy ever, but I do have a big faith that um, I always believe that anything that happens to me in my life is more for my own good. So I always believe that if I lost that day, that way then there is a reason of why I lost and it's better for me that I lost that day maybe if I played an extra point maybe I would have had an Achilles injury you know maybe it was meant to finish at that time you know um, I was so proud of my performance even though I lost the match but with everything that I went through in this match 
I think this is one of the most defining moments of my career because it showed how strong I am as a person, how strong, how strong I am as a squash player. Uh, and I went to court, I was never upset. And actually, three weeks later, I won my first British Open. How many people after a tournament like this would have been broken mentally? I won my first British Open that three weeks later, actually.